everybody welcome back to my channel hello <laughs> I know it's been a while since I made a video I have so many videos lined up and that get bogged down with stuff that goes on in the house so and I'm just so happy because I see like little small buds on the weeping willow that's in our backyard and our roses have bloomed and it's gorgeous outside and it's beautiful and I was inspired because I love spring because spring is like like the beginning of newness so i was inspired to do something different with my space i made this flower little flower trellis and i made this um shelf and i made those pillar candles sammy made that virginia a nice beautiful brazilian curly wig um but this bob is over here and just click on that and it'll take you to the review. Ooh, I love my long wigs. I love long hair. But there's something to be said about cute short bobs. So today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful kinky curly wig that I have not done any kind of anything to. I bleached the knots and I kind of sort of over bleached the knots. But um, we're going to correct that later on. But here you can see where it's a little light. So hopefully when I put my foundation on the lace it'll blend in a little bit better and it won't be so apparent. But this is exactly how the wig came. I washed the hair and somehow I managed to keep the curls intact. My little tip that I use when I get a brand new wig and I wanna wash it is um, I just put the hair in a ponytail and then I scrub the base of the lace and I rinse it out really good and I don't even, I try not to disturb the curl pattern whatsoever. This is a 360 lace wig which means it is all free parting space you can um pluck the back if you want to wear your hair up in a ponytail you can just do whatever you want there's so much freedom and so much versatility when you have lace like this it's got a nice stretchy wig base right here and then you have some combs on the side no comb in the crown and one in the very back um, along with an adjustable strap. Okay, so I got the lace cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip her inside out because it's gonna make it easier to get to the lace. And I'm going to take a really fluffy foundation brush and I'm going to put foundation on um, the lace and I'm going to try to have it blend in with my skin tone. Just a little bit. I really do love this foundation, I swear. I don't know what it is about that matte mousse, but it is so, like, it covers everything. And I only need, like, a very small amount, and it's cheap. All right, so I've added the foundation, and you can see how it's nice and chocolatey brown. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna take off my beautiful bob, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in the storage bag that came in my Wild African box. Okay, this gorgeous girl is 16 inches long, and she came pre-plucked. I did not pluck a single hair. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adjust my straps in the back. I like to put them like right there because I wanna make sure that it's no on my head. I don't want anything to fly off. Mm -hmm. All right, so it fits nice and snug. It is an average size cap, so. It's 180 density, so it's it's nice and thick here. You have options. You can choose to use a little bit of got to be glued, which is my go-to hair adhesive. When I'm putting on wigs, I love the fact that I could just use a spray bottle and take the wig off. I can rinse my hair off and all the stuff will be gone. I don't have to use glue. Or you don't have to use glue. You could just use the comb attachments. I will say though, because there is not a comb in the crown, you might, you might, want, you might want to glue it down. So I'm finding my combs and I'm attaching them to my base of crooked cornrows that I have here. And then I'm going to engage this back comb so that everything is nice and secure and it's on my head. And I will be applying some God's Be Glue because that way I feel secure. Now the wig is secured to my head, I'm gonna go and style it. 
So usually when I have a kinky curly wig, I never quite know how it's gonna turn out. And so I'm just gonna start running my hands along the curl to try to um, gently disturb it, which is gonna make it a little frizzy. So I don't want it to be too frizzy. So that's why I'm gonna use a pick and I'm gonna pick the volume up. Oh, look at that. out all the way you might want to shape it a little bit like I have a few like little scragglies that I'll snip here and there but I'm definitely not gonna snip too much because I really like the way that it looks change a twist out from nothing to something okay did you hear me pick it out play with it disturb those curl patterns make that hair big looking like I just came back from Wakanda that's it guys thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video and the specifications for this hair is gonna be in the description box below also a link to the wig that I wore in the beginning of the video thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later